These hostile lands are populated by a myriad of unique and diverse species, each stranger than the next. It encompasses a fluvial environment, from lush plains to damp swamp, facilitating to a wide range of both flora and fauna, cowering in the shadow of an enormous active volcano. The wildlife is just as impressive as the geography, as colossal creatures call this place home. This is Mamenchisaurus, at 30 meters and 20 tons, it surpasses in size every other creature that lives in this era. Though, it's still relatively light in comparison to its kin that are yet to appear. With a neck making up over 50% of the length of the entire animal, this is a creature wholly adapted for life as a high-browsing herbivore. In the giant's wake, a number of smaller animals go about their daily life among the trees and shrubs. They are Huayangosaurus, pint-sized stegosaurus bristling with plates and spikes. It is these four thagomizers donning the end of their tails that are the real danger. These structures adoring their back and sides serve mostly for display and serve as a strong deterrent to even the most ruthless of predators. The night has fallen, and the poor eyesight of Huayangosaurus will be of no help. This is Sunilat, a theropod of respectable size, and he is looking for his next meal. The Hywangosaurus present too much of a risk. The Synraptor seems to have given up this opportunity. Besides, there are far easier prey nearby. There is nothing they can do but run. Lurking in the shadows, a smaller predator watches from a distance. With his hunt ruined, he will have to go hungry once more. The Synraptor is a medium-sized Metriacanthosaur. He has a great sense of smell that helps him get closer to potential prey. And it is particularly useful in this humid environment. As a result of the weather, a herd of Yandusaurus are making the most of the thriving plant life. Yandusaurus possess many small triangular teeth, perfect for feeding on soft vegetation. Their efficient adaptations have made them a common sight in these forests, and can usually be seen in considerable numbers for safety.
It is the wet season, and the rains have come down hard. This lush place can become a hellhole in a matter of minutes. The furious sky unleashes its power and descend onto the valley below. Several days have passed since the Simraptor last ate. And once again, he is out on the hunt for prey. This time, however, he isn't the only one looking for a meal. The smaller Sin Raptor doesn't stand a chance. The weather is getting worse. Half a million tons of water are falling. Rapidly, the soils are flooded. Young Chuanosaurus, weighing in at two and a half tons and at a length of over 10 meters. It's the apex predator of the region and ruler of these lands. The rains have stopped but they weren't without their consequences. Many large carnivores are known to bite their adversary's face in a fight, sometimes resulting in a deadly ending. The Anguanosaurus usually uses its size to steal smaller predators' prey, but this time, the element of surprise was perfect. The saturation of the soil has created liquid mud. A deadly trap for any creatures unlucky enough to tread over its deceptive surface. At such enormous sizes, the Titans could not escape from the invisible trap. They died by asphyxia and exhaustion. Only by pure luck has this male gigant Spinosaurus not succumbed to a similar fate. Like Hywangosaurus, he too is a stegosaur. However, there is one blatant feature which differentiates it. Its enormous shoulder spines, made of solid bone. For any predator foolish enough to launch an attack on this animal's flanks, they are deadly. However, they mostly serve as a structure for display. This male is in possession of a harem of females, of which he constantly has to defend from rival males. 
a young bull has made its way to the eldest territory, arriving to try his luck for the herd. They compete in a display of size. The two males line up alongside each other, flaunting their one and a half ton bulk in an attempt to impress both the females and put off their competitor. Rarely do such competitions result in bloodshed. This is a game of intimidation. Eventually, the young male gives up. The harem will remain in possession of the elder bull for now. As soon as it has started, the earthquake is over. Female Gigantspinosaurus have become pregnant. The success of the clutch is imperative to the future survival of the herd, and to an extent, their species as a whole. Six kilometers south of the Stegosaurs, a Yangchuanosaurus patrols his expensive territory. However, an intruder has crossed into the domain of the king. This the male will not tolerate. Deadly sulfuric gas. Every animal within range of the toxic vapor is dead within minutes. It seems a confrontation between these two is inevitable. Two titans fight on, so enthralled in their territorial excursion that they are oblivious to the forces of nature taking place around them. The volcanic eruption has inflicted severe damage to the entire region. In this desolated prehistoric world, falling water has been replaced by acid. It had mostly destroyed only vegetation as well as injuring the few survivors. In less than 24 hours, this haven of life has been turned into a hell. The whole ecosystem has been affected by this disaster, and the aftermath will be felt for many months forward. 
The few creatures that managed to survive the eruption are now forced to live in a world that is choking them in ash and toxic rain. Even this ecosystem's rulers weren't given a chance. They have suffered the consequences for their greed, deafened by their longing for a larger territory and blindly following instincts. An eternal darkness settled in. and along with it is a far luckier survivor. The small predators that were once oppressed at the bottom of the food chain by these giants Now feast upon royal flesh. The rulers of these hostile lands have met their demise, neither fast enough to escape the forces of nature. However, smaller creatures have been spared. The rules in this world can quickly change. Far larger disasters will allow these temporary winners to grow and flourish even more in a race to adaptation. Here, the evolutionary journey of some has just begun. One hundred and sixty million years ago, Asia was a place of wonder and unpredictability. The creatures that called it home were amongst some of the most impressive the Earth had ever seen. However, not even they were strong enough to withstand the forces of nature conspiring against them. In the next program, we will follow from early beginnings the greatest evolutionary arms race in history.